A humanitarian emergency or disaster is an event or series of events that threatens the health, safety, security and well-being of a community or a large group of people. Working during humanitarian and health emergencies can be difficult, given the challenges and changes in the physical, socio-cultural environment. While such situations may call for quick responses to an evolving health emergency, safety and ethical priorities can never be compromised and it is critical to address certain factors. An ethics preparedness framework comes into play during public health emergencies and ensures public health systems can quickly respond to humanitarian emergencies. The Ethics Committee plays an important role in such circumstances when it comes to conducting research studies during health emergencies. Availability of trained health workers, a research-oriented environment, good ethics review, a prior assessment of community needs and possible adoption to the present requirements form the backbone of the Ethics Preparedness Framework. Data sharing, storage of samples, biobanking, laboratories, governance structures, improved communications and advocacy interventions are important factors to initiate timely action and improving the quality of outcome. Obtaining informed consent in humanitarian emergencies can be challenging as the decision-making capacities of participants are often affected as they are unable to differentiate between the relief offered and the research components. In such cases, additional safeguards must be taken. In emergency outbreaks, there may be disruption of governance, infrastructure and communication networks. Inflow of visitors during emergencies can lead to a breach of privacy and confidentiality. To prepare for future emergencies, preemptive research and prior planning is required. Thus, researchers and sponsors could plan, budget and design the study beforehand. In April 2020, after the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, India became one of the first countries to put together a set of guidelines for ethics committees who were reviewing research around COVID-19. These guidelines have been downloaded by more than 50 countries and also guide ethics committees in India. They also articulate how technology can be harnessed to prepare interactive, electronic formats such as text graphics, audio and video products, podcasts and interactive platforms that explain information related to research studies. Electronically documented informed assent or consent is as important as written consent.